what in the world is leaky gut and what can you do about it? In my last video, I talked about how leaky gut is the underlying mechanism in all autoimmune diseases. Now, it also applies to other conditions as well, but let's break it down a little bit more. So leaky gut means that the lining of the small intestine becomes more permeable than it should be. So things leak across that shouldn't leak across, and that causes the immune system to overreact and start attacking the body's tissues. Some of the things that can contribute to leaky gut are stress, toxins and chemicals, medications, especially antibiotic use, alcohol, caffeine, and inflammatory foods. So since there's not much we can do about many of these things, you have to control what you can. And what you put in your mouth is probably the main thing that we can control. So regulating your diet is one of the most important aspects to control leaky gut. Now, as I explain this list of things that can contribute to leaky gut, I don't want you to think that all of these foods are bad all of the time because no food really is. But when you get to the point where the lining is permeable, these are the foods that can make it worse. Okay, so let's start with grains, especially gluten and things containing gluten, but this also includes other grains. So rice and corn and other types of grains can be very inflammatory and contribute to leaky gut. There's things in there called lectins that also contribute to it. And then we have other foods that are not always bad, like I said, but can contribute to a leaky gut once it's present. And that would be foods like sugar, processed foods, dairy products, and even sometimes nightshade vegetables. So I know it's difficult to give up some of these foods if you have a leaky gut, but do the best that you can. The good news is that the gut lining does repair itself every two to three days, so it's a constant effort. So if you make a constant effort, over time things can improve. I've seen it time and time again in my clinic. So in the next video, I'm going to get into some supplements that you can take that can also help improve leaky gut. So like and follow for more.